go swamping, let's keep swamping, let's go swamping, let's keep swamping. Let's go on a swamp girl adventure to see what we can find. And listen to swamp girl and remember that it's fun when it's swamp girl time. Today we're going to talk about the Florida water snake. And here I have with me a Noki. Now, Florida water snakes average about two to three feet long. They are found throughout the peninsula of Florida, and they have these beautiful tan, black, and even reddish brown colors that mark their whole bodies. Now, as they get older and they become adults, they also get darker. Now, in this case, we're gonna go ahead and put them down in the water. It makes his colors a little bit brighter so we can see them a little better. Ooh, it's cold. I'm sorry, buddy. Here we go. Ah, oh, that's it. You get used to it after a while, right? How do you live in this stuff? All right, stay tuned for some really cool Florida water snake facts. These guys typically eat fish and frogs. And even though they're nocturnal, they still enjoy a nice bask in the sun. And basking in the sun is very important because these guys are ectothermic. That means that they need an outside heat source to warm their bodies and digest their food. So after a few fish snacks, they need to go bask and digest that food. We don't want that sitting in there, right? Ugh. Now it's time for some Florida water snake baby talk. That's right, the breeding season for Florida water snakes are late winter into early spring, and then little babies are born, live birth, in late spring into summer. How cool is that? They're so cute. Water snakes are ovoviviparous. This means that they're hatched internally and born alive. When born, they're only about seven or eight inches long. Now this one's a little older, at about six months old. Swimming with the snakes. Swimming with the snakes. Hey guys, I want to swim with the snakes too. So let's chat about pupils for just a moment. Now you can see this Florida water snake has round pupils. And a lot of people will say only venomous snakes have elliptical or that cat shaped pupil. But that's not true because even boas and pythons have that elliptical shaped pupil and they're not venomous, right? But here in Florida, we do also have the coral snake and that's an elapid. They're related to the cobras and they have round pupils, but they are venomous. So we can't always rely on the eye shape to tell us whether or not a snake is venomous. Right? That's right, Anoki. Here is a comparison of the Florida water snake and the cottonmouth. First, we have the cottonmouth, a venomous snake, also known as a water moccasin. And here we have the non venomous Florida water snake. You can also visit our website for the Venomous Snakes of Florida Snake ID card. It shows you all six venomous snakes of Florida. Our goal is not to make you love snakes, but all we ask is that you respect them and the role that they play in our ecosystem. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more Swamp Girl Adventures. <laughs> Thanks for helping with the video, little buddy. Time to go. Went to Swamp Girl Elementary and then Swamp Girl Junior High. And then I graduated top of my class from Swamp Girl Senior High. So what do I do with all this swamp information? I started to teach some swamp education to inspire you to visit swampy destinations and I. I'll tell you about the blossoms and I'll tell you about the blossoms and I'll tell you about the spiders and the raccoons and sizers and I'll show you some gators and all the birds we call waders and I'll show you all the swampy critters like boars and bugs and snakes and mosquitoes.